easy english lessons the tale of peter rabbit written by helen beatrix porter helen beatrix porter who lived between 1866 and 1943 was best known for her children's books featuring animals and one such story is the tale of peter rabbit featuring the characters mother rabbit peter rabbit and peter rabbit siblings flopsy mopsy cotton tail then mr mcgregor owner of the garden flopsy mopsy cotton tail and peter were four little rabbits they lived with their mother underneath the root of a large fir tree now my dears said old mrs rabbit one morning you may go into the fields or down the lane but don't go into mr macgregor's garden your father had an accident there now run along and don't get into mischief Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. And what did Peter do? Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First, he ate some lettuces and some french beans and then some radishes he soon felt sick as he went to look for some parsley whom should he meet but mr macgregor mr macgregor was on his knees planting cabbages but he jumped up and ran after peter calling out stop thief Peter was frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoe among the potatoes. He began to run on four legs. He went faster but unfortunately ran into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large brass buttons on his jacket. It was a new jacket. Peter shed big tears. Some friendly sparrows overheard his sobs. They flew to him in great excitement and asked him to try harder. Mr. MacGregor brought a sieve and tried to pop it on top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. He rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a water can. Mr. MacGregor was quite sure Peter was somewhere there. He looked carefully. Suddenly, Peter sneezed. Achoo! Mr. MacGregor was after him instantly. Peter jumped out of a window. The window was too small for Mr. MacGregor and He was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter sat down to rest. He panted and trembled with fright. He did not know which way to go. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. After some time he began to wander about looking all around a mouse was running in and out over the stone door step carrying peas for her family peter asked her the way to the gate 
she had such a large p in her mouth that she could not answer she only shook her head at him peter began to cry peter now heard the noise of a hoe scratch 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 peter darted underneath the bushes when nothing happened he came out climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over the edge he saw mr mcgregor hoeing onions his back was turned towards peter and beyond him was the gate peter sneaked out of the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go mr mcgregor caught sight of him peter did not care he slipped underneath the gate and started running peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the big fir tree he was so tired that he flopped down upon the soft floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes his mother later wondered what he had done with his clothes it was the second jacket and pair of shoes that peter had lost in a fortnight thank you